You know, a few years back, I used to be very aggressive. I used to say, you know, if you don't change your company, if, I, I used to say, you know, if you don't change, your customer will do it for you, right? Uh, nowadays, what I keep telling people about is that you need to evaluate as a company, as an organization, where you want to be in 30 years. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm for the corporate world, unfortunately, has got that short-term mentality of only looking quarter after quarter after quarter and perhaps year or two year ahead, right? None of the businesses, none of the corporations are thinking about where they want to be in 30 years. And that basically means that they don't allow themselves to grow uh, or they, they're not contemplating the idea of growing. Uh, we're going to see, for instance, you know, when we, as, as years go by and we go into that time frame of the 20 years, 30 years, we're going to see and we're going to realize how at that time we're going to be depending tremendously on the knowledge that we produce, not on the labor that we produce. And the reason why we're not saying that is because we're still far too attached to the 20th century mentality. So when you tell people, okay, what, was, what, what, what is your company expecting to do in 2040? They'll go like, why? Well, I don't want to go that far along. And I say, well, why not? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of being stuck in the same 20th century business model that you have been, that unfortunately has put us in the, kind, in the current financial crisis that we're living now? Or are you thinking more, saying, you know, where do I want to be with my company in 30 years? And then when you start bringing that conversation, the first thing that people tell you is, well, I don't know what I want to be in, in 30 years. I said, well, isn't it time that you start shaping it now? I mean, just look at what has happened in the last 10 years. We have made that transition from a knowledge-based economy, sorry, from a labor-based economy into a knowledge-based economy where, you know, we don't do hard work or hard labor work with our hands. We do a lot of knowledge work, right? We, you know, when we collaborate, we typically exchange and share information. So one, one clear indication that will probably provoke that change is that in 2000, you know, in those 30 years, 2030 or something like that, we're going to see how we're going to be depending more on the knowledge that we produce. So if we're going to be depending on the knowledge that we produce, what can you do to start provoking that change today? So that's what I tell people, you know, you need to evaluate as a company whether you are a collaborative company or not, whether you have got that mentality or not. And if you don't have that mentality, how are you going to push for that mentality? And, and the way that I keep telling people about it is that the easiest way to start making that change is by focusing on the problems that you have today and how you're going to solve them, not today, but then for the rest of those 30, 40 years. So by helping them, because most of the times, and this is probably something that doesn't happen in the corporate world as often as it should, most companies do not want to see the problems they're facing. They don't want to see them. They don't want to see their failures. And the reason why they don't want to see their failures is because if they see their failures, their customers will as well, and they're afraid that they will run away. And so, well, if you're not doing anything about it, of course they're going to run away. Now, if you show how you're going to fix those problems and how you're going to fix those failures, you're actually telling people that, hey, you're human after all. Uh, you have got problems, but you have actually found solutions for those problems. So what I keep telling people is, you know, that level is, is you know, if you want to change the corporate mentality, address the problems that you have in an open manner. And then they say, okay, but how do I do that? Because, you know, my executives are not going to tell me what's wrong with the company. And I say, yeah, your executives are not, but your population of workers is going to tell you very blunt what's wrong with the company, right? Um, and, and in, you know, exercises, for instance, like doing like an open forum collaboration for employees, right? Um, you know, when IBM, we call them the jams. Uh, but having that opportunity of spending time where you can tell people, hey, during the course of three days, five days, we're going to identify problems that we're facing in the business. So basically, what is it that you guys want us to address and fix? And then from their own words, management needs to understand that they need to be open to very, very harsh feedback. Things that they're not going to like. Things that they're going to go like, my God, this employee is going to be so fired if he continues like that. They need to keep a very open mentality to try to get as much of that uh, harm that is causing the business 
from the employees than would ever happen. And then from there onwards, once the employees tell you what problems are there, you can then discuss how you're going to prioritize them, how you're going to fund for them, how you're going to solve them with the various different groups and everything else. But always, always involve the people who identify the problem. Why? Because they are the ones who know the problem the best. And they're probably as well the ones who know how to fix it, right? So that's, that's how, you, you know, how I'm proposing to a number of customers that I'm talking how they can change, right? Evaluate mm. the problems you have and get that input, not from the executives, because you know, sometimes executives are sitting in a different bubble than what we are, but get that input from not just the executives, but also from the employees, from the people on the trenches. They are the ones who can tell you very bluntly what works and what doesn't work in your company and how you can fix it.